is up youtube it is your boy zed i'm back at it again with another video and i shaved my face y'all know i shaved my face i said that last video but it is still growing back i promise you i look better with facial hair but if you are new to this channel welcome to the channel um you know here's where i talk about cna content and uh nursing content basically and yeah, if you are already a uh, subscriber of this channel, I appreciate you coming back, watching another video. Let's get into the video. So as you can see from the title, we are going to talk about basically being a hospital CNA. Being a hospital CNA, there are a lot of tips that you can grab from this video. If you wanna be a hospital CNA, I think it is important for you to watch this video. If you're gonna be a, um, an agency CNA or simply a long-term care facility CNA like nursing homes, assisted living, stuff like that. This video is not so much important to you because you will be dealing with, you know, your geriatric patients, uh, patients that's going to be there for, you know, a very long time until they transition or until they, you know, move on to another facility. But this video is not necessarily for you. You feel free to watch if you want to. Hospital CNAs, listen up. Before you take any job as a hospital CNA, see if you'll be able to do some form of shadowing on a unit. I didn't know how important that was until I started working in the unit that I'm working in now, which is uh, you know, a neuro, neuro unit, basically. Uh, it's neuro progressive, like a step down for ICU, but I'm not mad at the, the, um, the specialty that I picked simply because you know, it was important. It's an important that it's important that I was able to get the experience to, uh, you know, deal with the patient demographic that I am dealing with. It's a heavy unit. It's a heavy unit. It's a uh, uh, heavy lifting. It's a lot of action on that unit. It's exciting. I enjoy it. And I'm glad that I was able to do it for the time that I was able to do it. But recently I've been looking to um, change it up a little bit. I've been saying on a couple of videos before, I want to see a, pay, a different patient demographic. I want to be able to see something new. I want to be able to work with different nurses, work with different units, learn different things. And I feel like now is a time where I'm actually looking for other units to work on, basically. I've been on my unit for about, I want to say seven months now. And yeah, I floated on PZD. I floated to uh, ICU. I floated to a uh, cardiac and vascular unit. And I want to float to a behavioral health unit. Uh, I have had an opportunity to kind of reach out to uh, the specialty hospital that we have for behavioral health. But, you know, I haven't yet simply because I'm in the middle of class. Classes are wrapping up. But uh, fall semester is starting in about a week. I've been in school this entire time. It started about a week. Last two kind of prereqs that I have before the program starts. But, um, yeah, that's what I have going on. But, yeah, uh, it's important for me to shadow. It's important for you to shadow. I love the unit that I'm on, like I said before, but every CNA's job on different units are not the same thing. Let me clear that up. Which means, I know it's not that hot in here. Let me turn the, air, air, the AC on. Which means, if you are working on a heavy unit, you're doing a lot of heavy lifting. If you're working on a PEDS unit, I wouldn't say that PEDS is as heavy as the unit that I'm on now. Granted, every hospital is gonna be different. Every unit is gonna be different, but let me clear this up. And I, I answer this a lot. Don't become a CNA if you don't expect to clean patients. That's simple. But also as a CNA, you don't have to clean patients. You don't have to be around bodily fluids as much. You don't have to, um, you know, do a lot of the more invasive skills that um, certain units will offer. When I was on a cardiac and vascular unit, I didn't change anyone. I didn't change anyone. I only gave one assisted bath and it was really just holding a patient up while they wiped themselves. That's something that they wanted to do. But when I was on a cardiac and vascular unit, people were typically caring for themselves. These are patients that can ambulate themselves. These are patients that can move around. These are patients that can stand on their own. They're not, they don't have a weak side. They can stand there um, basically like an independent patient. Um, and that's stuff that, something that I didn't really know that was out there and I don't know why I didn't think that that was out there, but I didn't know it was out there. When I went to PZD, 
you know, you're dealing with kids. So those kids could, you know, you you don't have to help anyone go to the bathroom. You don't got to help um, um, anyone do anything invasive. They say they got to go to the bathroom. You walk them to the bathroom. You close the door. Let them do their thing. And they come out. Um, I The unit that I'm on now is a lot of heavy lifting. It's a lot of heavy everything. But I know that every unit is going to be different. And I'm sure that, you know, the next unit that I transition to, it won't be as much invasive, which I can appreciate because while I'm doing these night shifts and I'm, you know, running around the unit at night, changing patients, bathing patients, shaving patients, turning patients because they can't turn for themselves, feeding patients. It becomes a lot. It becomes heavy. And no, I'm not complaining because that's a nurse of a job, which is why I'm glad I was able to do the grit work as in doing some of that heavier lifting things. But it'll be nice to get on a unit where I, that's not as prevalent. Uh, I'm sorry, prevalent. And um, yeah, it'll be exciting for me to do that. So that's my next transition. That's my next step. If you are a new CNA, you're working at a hospital, before you make a decision to work on a unit, do research on that job. I came from a nursing home, so I expected that, you know, any unit that I work on, I would have to do some of these things, but that's not necessarily the case at all. Shadow on these units before you sign any, you know, papers saying you want to work in this unit. Before you make a schedule, look at the options that they have, whether that be part-time, whether that be uh, full-time, whether that be PRN. If you don't know the difference between the three, PRN is where you kind of work. Uh, I think it's like one shift per month. Most hospitals are like that. And you can pick up as needed. Pick up as you want to, depending on whatever life you're dealing with. Whether you have class, whether you have family, work, all that. You're only required to work one shift per month. Part-time is two days, of course. And uh, full-time is three days, of course. 36 hours. But... Yeah, see the different options that they had. Don't just sign anything. I'm not saying that I made a mistake while signing anything, but I probably could have put myself in a, lit, a little bit of an easier situation if I didn't sign on a unit that I'm signed on to now. Granted, that's, you know, my six months is up now, so I can apply to move to any other unit that I want to. So I'm doing my research now, but I do want to shadow on a behavioral health unit, and I do want to shadow on a PEDS ED unit again, simply because there's a lot of action on that unit, and it's a different patient demographic that I'll be able to learn a lot from. Before you guys get off this video, go ahead and like, go ahead and comment, go ahead and subscribe. I will be posting more on the consistent basis. Um, waiting for my face show to grow back because I'm ready for that, but... Uh, yeah, I hope this video was able to help uh, any new CNAs. I hope this video was able to assist you and, you know, put you in the right direction when you're looking for these different positions at a hospital setting um, at the hospital level, the hospital setting. So that's all I got for you on this video. Stay tuned for more. I'll post again um, either later this week or next week. But that's all I got for you on this video. Peace.